Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Dylan Collier. And I'm Jenny Suniga. Thanks for joining us tonight. Tomorrow, voters will go to the polls in a number of key local races. NBC 25's Kevin Uselman is live in Genesee County, where he spent the day taking the pulse of voters. Kevin? Dylan, polls open at Flint City Hall behind me at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning as voters will decide whether to re-elect incumbent Mayor Dane Walling to another four-year term or give challenger Darrell Buchanan, longtime city activist and former city council rep, a shot at the job. The other big race in southern Genesee County, the attempted recall of State Representative Paul Scott over his support for education cuts. Today I talked with voters in Genesee County over these, about these critical local races. People in Flint tell NBC 25 things need to get better. We've been down and we're going down further and further, so yeah, just help us come up. What's the biggest problem in the city? The poverty, lack of money. But in this long battered city about to elect a mayor, firm opinions on the race were hard to come by. I haven't made a decision yet. This Walling supporter works with youth in the city. He says they're the key to the future. They need jobs. They need something to do after school. He says unity is the key to turning Flint around, whether his candidate wins or not. Whoever win the election, as long as they're doing something for this community to bring Flint, Flint back like it was in the 70s, I'm good. I'm for that. Minutes south, the MEA is unified in recalling State Representative Paul Scott but there is opposition. I'm against recalling him. I think he's doing the right thing. I think he's uh, voting to limit taxes and government and not cowing to special interest groups. This man supports the teachers, but says recall is not the way to go. And they said, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and they went opposite of that. And uh, that'd be a, the perfect time to recall somebody. But in this case, I'm, I'm not sure that Paul Scott did that. So I believe, you know, we should just use the general election process to uh, change who's in office. Supporters of the Paul Scott recall were hard to find this afternoon, but they're out there in force, and many of them no doubt doing their jobs while we were out and about today teaching class. Now, this traditionally would be a low turnout election, but with all of the statewide implications and the attention paid to this recall effort, that race in particular has a chance to buck the trend. Reporting live in Genesee County, Kevin Uselman, NBC 25 News.